wake up every every morning. Okay, to me is like going to play. According to Louise Gayton, a project manager at Turner Construction Company, hard work can feel like play when you really love what you do. He says 80% of his time is spent out in the field overseeing construction projects and making sure they get done in time. The rest is doing paperwork in the office. We usually start about 7 o'clock in the morning. We do all the drawings, we do all the quality control, all the safety in, on, on, on site, change orders, uh, coordinate different uh, installations as, as you build on the, the building. That includes making sure the customer is getting exactly what was promised to them while sticking to their budget. This bill is for $60 million. So our budget is $60 million. And, and what we have to do is we have to manage somebody else's money. We create a budget report so we know exactly how much we're spending day per day per day. There can be hundreds of people involved with one project at any given time, which means many of the tools they use are for communication. We use cells, okay? We use uh, walkie-talkies sometimes, or, we, or as, as simple as we use an iPad. Which allows them to send information to hundreds of people at once and compactly store information needed in the field. For this specific project, we, we probably will use about 1,500 drones, okay? There's no way you can carry 1,500 drones with you in your hand. Back in time, you used to go, bring the person in, sit out on the trailer, and go through the drones. Nowadays, through the iPad, the software that we have, just immediately have 1,500 drones on your hand. It's this growing technology that he feels will fuel the construction industry in the future. If any city, regardless of what the city is, wants to be a big city, they have to construct. So the construction industry not only brings jobs to the, to the society, they also bring new technologies. Watching projects get completed is one of the most rewarding parts of his job. That was an emergency pavilion for Metro Hospital on uh, 25th. And the best rewarding thing is creating something or helping create something that is going to help the community. And a hospital is nothing better than that. Luis says he has been working at Turner Construction for 20 years, and it took him 15 years to become a project manager. His path to his current position began by taking college courses, many in science and math. Oh boy, I'm a mechanical engineer, so I went for a mechanical engineering degree. Uh, classes I took, physics, calculus, uh, stress analysis, um, um, dynamics. Do we apply all those classes in the field? Not all of them, but the majority we do. When you learn an engineering degree is you know how well you can do uh, or, or design this, how well you can think I can apply some of the knowledge. He then got his MBA, which is a Master of Business Administration, before becoming a project manager. You know, everybody wants to be in college, and, and that's nothing wrong with it, okay? There's plenty of work out there that you can do and be very successful. You can, I know people that work for, for, with us in the construction industry, and they're very successful what they do. They love what they do, okay? They went to trades, they got their, 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 their GED, so they got their high, uh, high school diploma. And after that, they went in and got into the union. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, a median salary for a construction manager is $94,590 a year. For students interested in pursuing a career in construction, Luis says the number one thing to do is finish high school and then decide what you want to do. Well, first of all, you have to go to the union, okay? And they're going to tell you exactly all the classes you have to take. They give it to you. If you want to be an engineer, be the best engineer you can be. If you want to be a steer director, be the best steer director you can be. As soon as you accomplish that goal, as soon as you have a goal in life, you will be a very happy person. You're a very happy person, you know, the rest is, is a piece of cake.